Hi. Hi. Hi, it's Shauna, 1996. Hi, Kane. Hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> I came on here because I wanted to check in, number one. And number two, remind everybody about book club. I came. ASMR book club time. I mean, it's not book club time right now. I wanted to remind everybody that indeed we are doing book club. <laughs> um, you, this is the first time you've ever live watched my live. Hi, hi Moose. Um, hello from India, hi. Um, sorry, I'm just, I have so many. Um, I came on to talk about books, but more importantly, book club. Um, I wanted to talk about Brian's book club. We're reading Song of the Wild Bill by Becky Chambers, my favorite. I have a lot of favorite authors. One of my favorite contemporary authors, Becky Chambers. Hi from Turkey, hi. Stop, Kaylee, focus. I wanted to talk to everybody about whether or not they're participating in Song of the Wild Belt, AKA this month's book of Brian's book club. Um, and I also wanted to say while I'm here that I made the mistake of traveling without my copy of Song of the Wild Belt, even though I'm gonna be away when I'm doing the live. Um, when is book club? It's on the 20th. So, either do your homework prior, or you're just gonna have to watch everybody else participate. Um, anyways, so I forgot my book, so I had to buy another copy of Song of the Wild Belt. Um, so since I have a second copy, I think what I am going to do is I am going to annotate this one and give it away um, to somebody at random. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to randomly choose who to give this to um but yeah I'm, I'm gonna annotate it i'm not going to annotate it in the way that like your english professor would appreciate just you know like little things here and there just you know i don't know um so i'm going to be doing a giveaway and i'm going to send somebody an annotated copy of this song of the wild belt um and so, yeah, I think that that'd be fun. Uh, and I really enjoyed this book, but we'll talk about the actual book when it's book club time. Am I right? I think we're right. In the meantime, I wanted to talk about other books that I'm reading because, you know, books. <laughs> um, I have read a few books this month. My goal of the year, I feel like we should talk about goals, right? Uh, Mafiso, what a great name. Mafiso says hi. Kawaii arigato, konnichiwa. <laughs> um, and so, I, my goal of the year is to read 30 books this year. I might surpass it, I might not. I, I wanted to put it at something attainable for myself, um, but don't. Um, compare yourself to my level of reading like you can read one book a year and be completely impressed with that i'm impressed with you you're reading or you can read like 200 books in a year which i know a lot of people do shout out to you i'm currently reading a few books physical copy i'm reading zadie smith's on beauty i'm like very early stages of reading it and i'm enjoying it this is a very beat up copy. I didn't do this to my book. I didn't do this to my book. I bought this used at this adorable thrift bookshop. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, I'm also listening to the audiobook of Water Stains, ew. Um, 
I'm listening to the audiobook of The Song of Achilles and really enjoying it. <laughs> I wanted to not like it because everybody was talking about it and I wanted to be different. Um, but it's really good. Highly, highly recommend. Nobody told me it was gay. It's so gay and I love it. <laughs> um, somebody says, show me your nails. My nails? Do you like how my hands are shaking because I'm drinking too much coffee? Um, they're just nails. They're too long right now, but I digress. Um, I have been reading On Beauty, Song of Achilles, and of course, naturally, since I've been listening to Song of Achilles and enjoying it, what have I been doing but starting? There it is. Um, Homer's The Iliad and The Odyssey. And wow. Wow. <laughs> What a difference. <laughs> Obviously, we're talking about contemporary interpretation versus the actual Homer classic. Um, but I'm enjoying all of it. Um, I also recently finished Transcendent Kingdom by, I want to say, Yagyasi. If I say that wrong, please correct me. Um, if you can handle how dark and how heavy the topics are in that book, I highly, 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 highly recommend. I think it might be one of my favorite books that I've read this year. I also finished The Vegetarian and The White Book by Han Kang. I really, 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 really loved both of them, specifically The White Book though. I don't like poetry necessarily, but it changed my mind about poetry. I really liked it. Um, the Vegetarian was amazing, horrifically dark, once again, like only read it if you can really handle some heavy, hard topics. Um, my only issue with The Vegetarian, as if I have any right to have any input on <laughs> novels, um, was that it's the story following this woman who stops eating meat and how it basically affects her family and husband, like everybody around her, basically. Um, and the book is told from three different perspectives. Her husband's perspective, her brother-in-law's perspective, and then her sister. And the entire time, what this woman is going through and what she's, what you're taking in from other people's perspective is so interesting that I just want to know her perspective on everything. I want to know her thoughts. And so I want Hong Kong to come out with like a follow-up book to the vegetarian solely told by the main character's point of view you know i don't know so i just i was left wanting more but that's probably the point right <sighs> have i watched harry potter or read it before also can you say hey to sadie hey sadie um i have strangely I'm gonna get like book canceled. Is that how this works? I've watched Harry Potter, love the movies. Um, I've only ever audiobook listened to, I think the first two Harry Potters and never got into it. Um, I'm sure I will at one point, but I don't know. I haven't felt drawn towards number one, reading them or listening to them. Um, is this how I get book, book canceled? Book, book flu in, book, book, book fluence are canceled? Um, but yeah, no, never really um, got into the books, but I think that's because I grew up watching the Harry Potter movies. Um, and so that's like a huge part of my childhood that I feel like it was fulfilled in a certain way that I didn't necessarily start off with the books. I don't know. I don't know. You can cancel me for my lack of that. Um, <laughs> um, what else have I been reading? Been reading a lot. Oh, I'm also the very beginning of A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara, but it's strangely daunting to me, which I mean, it's only a hundred pages longer than this one that I'm like breezing through. It's just the, the 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 denseness of it slightly daunts me. Like I'm a f 
just I feel like I'm never gonna finish it um, also I also 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 understand that it's horrifically depressing and I'm scared <laughs> I can already see where it's going with the characters, specifically Jude, and um, I'm scared. <laughs> but the thing is, is I'm listening to Song of Achilles, and I obviously know how that one is going to end. Um, but I, maybe it's because I'm listening to it, it's easier to get through when I'm like, oh, okay, like, everybody's going to die. Nihongo <laughs> hanazemasuka. Hi. Nihongo hanashite. I don't have anything to say, though. Um, what else? What else? If you guys have any book recommendations, I'd love to know what you guys are reading. Um, I ordered books from my TBR. <gasps> oh my goodness, which books did you order from my TBR? Um, thank you, I'm a blank. Hi, fellow blank. Which books did you order from my TBR? It's always scary when somebody's like, oh, like, I think I posted a picture of my TBR, a lot of which I've already read. Um, and somebody was like, oh, Kaylee, I bought that book that you recommended. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I never recommended them because I haven't read them yet. I don't know if I'm recommending them. Um, where's my brain going? I also, what else is on my TBR? Because I read Transcendent Kingdom and loved it, um, I immediately went out and bought Homegoing by the same author. Haven't read that yet, but looking forward to doing it. Um, also, after I finished The Vegetarian by Hong Kong, I immediately, that's not true, I didn't immediately like following it. I then went out and bought Kim Ji Young, born 1982, I believe that's what it's called. And um, I actually had to stop reading it because it reminded me so much of The Vegetarian um, that I wanted to stop reading that and read it later in the year when I didn't have The Vegetarian so fresh in my mind. It's very, um, it's very much, it's told from the same perspective, I guess, because it starts off being told from the husband's perspective of the wife not being well in his mind. Um, and so I, I set it down. It's very well done, obviously. It's very highly acclaimed. Um, I just had to put it down because I, um, I just read a book very similar to it. Um, so yeah. Do I have anything else to say? I don't think so. Um, so anyways book club <laughs> is on the 20th it's in less than 10 days what day is it today seven days oh it's in a week is that right what day is it today it doesn't matter <laughs> book club is on the 20th we're reading some of the wild built it's only 150 pages oh, less than that 100 100 and 140 i can count it's 147 pages um, and I enjoyed it. I hope you guys are enjoying it or have enjoyed it as well. Um, and I'm doing a giveaway of my annotated copy. And I don't know how I'm going to figure out who to give it to, but I will give it to somebody. <laughs> um, so stay tuned for that. I don't know how I'm going to go about that, but I will research how other people go about these things because, you know, people do that people do 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 that um i love you so much too nine year grave um so yeah remember um i'm gonna glaze through how to participate because i feel like some most people know but just in case you don't know the way that brian's book club works is that um i set the book Song of the Wild Bill by Becky Chambers. <laughs> and basically, during or after you've read it, um, post your review using hashtag Brian's Book Club. I read all of the reviews, all of them. I love to hear other people's opinions on books, whether you hate it or love it, I wanna know. Um, and based off of your review, I will usually decide on three to four people. I'll probably do three. 
um, this session on who I'm going to live chat with during the live and we can discuss the book and yeah I've actually already picked somebody um, to talk to so there's two slots open um, so yeah um, I hope you guys are staying safe and having a good day and I hope that you are spending your time wisely <laughs> but yeah love you guys stay safe stay hydrated and yeah all right